Hello everybody, Sam here. So today I'm going to show you how to make a fun interactive reward for your online students. Now this reward today is just gonna have a Halloween theme to it, but you can use this particular trick for your winter rewards, maybe within a stocking, spring rewards with Easter eggs, or just um, any type of reward uh, if you have a theme and you're talking about going to the store and shopping. Uh, you know what, that's up to your imagination. The possibilities are endless. Uh, but I did post a video where I was reaching into a Halloween bag from a couple years ago. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this particular reward. I think it's a lot of fun. Now, in the video that I originally posted, I was using a Google slide that actually had animations. And then once the animation would stop, I would come in and do my own sort of reward. This is a little bit of an abbreviated version of that. It removes the animation from that Google slide just to make the reward go a little quicker. But you know that there are amazing Google Slides out there, especially if you are a VIP kid teacher. The Google Slides group has thousands upon thousands of pre-made rewards for you. The resources are endless. So let's just jump in today and I'm going to show you how to make an interactive reach in the bag reward. So if you can see on over there, what I've done is just Googled a search for trick or treat bags and I found this image I thought this image was really cute and it looks very similar to the image kind of as what I had in my original video I'm going to show you two ways to make this uh, interactive one way is going to be to use a custom area as if this was a uh, Google slide reward that you wanted to use and the other way to just make it a media file so it can always be on one feed and you can go back to this feed as much as you want to not have to worry about setting it up. So that's the way we're going to do it first. So uh, what I'm going to do here is just click on an empty feed that I have. I'm just going to click on that plus sign and I'm going to choose to use a media file. Now I have saved this image on my computer. It's right here on the desktop and I just double click on it. And if you can see, uh, if you can look down right on over here, you can see that my image is now on feed number 12. It's just where I put it. I'm going to just transition now to that slide, okay? And you can see here I have that slide with gift bags, um, Halloween trick-or-treat bags. That's all that is on this feed right now. Uh, I can choose to zoom and adjust this as much as I want to. I don't want to zoom too, too much um, because then I might lose some of the the elements. Um, it's a rather square image. It would be better if it was a rectangular image. I think if I go to 720 on this, it's not, yeah, it's not going to make it any better. So let's just, let's just stay where we are. Now, the next thing I need to incorporate is me into this image. So I am going to do it two ways. One, I can just add a new layer over to the side here using my preset menu, or I can literally just right click on the live box and choose to add a new layer. And there it is. It's that grade plus, hey, you need something here. So I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to choose my camera. And that brings me right onto the screen. Hello, miss me? I know you did. All right, the next thing I need to do is to eliminate my background. Now, let's talk about this. Can you do this if you are not green screening? You can. Can you do this if you are green screening? You can do it better. <laughs> so chroma key is better, but because this is a picture in picture, you can use the um, background feature, background removal feature. However, it glitches for me. I don't love that feature. ManyCam knows I don't love that feature. It's a little inconsistent, but it's getting better every time. Two ways to remove my background. The first way is to, well, both ways, you need to click on virtual backgrounds and I can click on uh, replace. Oh, unable to start. Well, here we go. Mm, I don't know why that's doing that. So we're gonna uh, go ahead and eliminate that. Apparently I went back a few sessions behind. So let's eliminate that. We're going to just use chroma key. <laughs> but if you have the background and put replace feature on your uh, mini cam, go ahead and do it. Um, I have a few settings I need to just change to get it to run again. And I did a tutorial earlier that undid a lot of things and therefore I can't use that replace. So right now we're just going to use chroma key. Hey, 
I don't edit my videos. This is a real take thing. I'm going to just click and start to eliminate the green behind me. So we're just going to click, 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 click. Keep in mind, I do use a green screen when I teach. Uh, my hair is a little bit curly today and a little bit uh, out of control. So I am going to have a little bit more greens than I normally would have. Uh, but I forgot I was going to make this video and I just hopped in the shower. Okay. So now that I am on the screen and I have my background gone. And again, I will try to in edit in a video where I use the replace feature instead, but it's the same thing. Just click on that replace feature and your background will disappear. And hopefully you don't find yourself being glitchy in the classrooms. Now, what I can do is I can move myself and reshape myself on the screen. And I just simply go ahead and put myself right here uh, on the top of these, say, these two bags up here. And I can ask my student, uh, and I can, you can number the bags too if you really want to, especially if this is a feed and it's going to stay. You can go ahead and number the bags so the student could choose, or maybe you might instead want to use like a letter. So maybe I'll do A, B, C. Uh, or again, if you're going to use numbers, you could go ahead and use numbers. E and F. Okay. So I might, uh, let's say the reward today is a simple find a star. And I want the student to guess which bag do they think the star is in. And what's nice about this is I just, I'm in control. I change it how often I want to. I'm going to just drop down to this so you can see me a little bit better. Um, you can change it however you want. You could put the, the treats or the star or whatever you want in any bag you want. So you can see I'm just resizing just a little bit to make sure I fit nicely over it. Okay, so I'll say to my student, uh, where is the star? Is the star in bag D or bag E? Okay, and so I listen and I respond and then I will go ahead and magically reach in if they say it is in bag D, I reach into bag D and I pull out a star um, and or whatever it is that you are giving your student. I would say maybe it is candy, you know, maybe in bag E, I say, you know, oh, let's look what's in bag E, and I reach into bag E, and I pull out candy. Now, there's no actual candy here because I ate it. Um, it doesn't even stand a chance. My lighting is just a little bit wonky today, and that's just because, again, I taught, I did a reset, I did a one-on-one -on -one tutorial today, and I undid a lot of stuff before I've gone back in and, and did this video. That happens often, but you're used to it by now, right? And I don't apologize. So what am I actually doing? How am I pulling these things out of the bag? I mean, it's nothing overly exciting, right? The picture-in-picture -picture window has a stopping point to it. It's that clear little frame. You can't go beyond it. So I just use that to my advantage. Um, what it really just looks like is me holding a star in this hand. I reach into the bag and I just give myself the star that I was holding um, or, you know, the apple or the bottle of Poland spring or whatever else. I'm not going to keep showing you what I have on my desk. It's embarrassing. Um, and you just keep pulling those things right out of the bag. That, that's all that is, right? You're just kind of handing yourself a little something, reaching in and grabbing it. Look, it's a screwdriver. <laughs> the other way that you can do this same feature is by using the Google Slides feature and custom area. Let's go ahead and uh, let me go to this and clear out my number 12. This time I'm going to set up like a custom area and uh, I think it actually looks a little bit better. Hello, mascara. Why are you traveling up my face? I think it actually looks a little bit better when you use the Google slide, but the difference is it's not necessarily locking it in permanently for the reward. If you're wanting to use the reward day in, day in, you can actually find a better slide too, or a better picture that fills the screen next time if you want to do that. I'm going to basically go right back down here. I'm going to click on the plus for the feed that I want to use, and I'm going to select 
I'm going to select my brain to work desktop and custom area. That gives me that little grid. And when I transition over to it, hello, desktop custom area, I can slide it right on over to my Google slide so I can have it fit. Now my Google slide is in preview mode, not present mode, not edit mode. It is in preview mode. You can get to preview mode by just selecting anything in the address bar from the word edit on and replacing it with the word preview. If you're using the VIP Kid Google Slides group you can and the uh, planner, you can then just choose to have it set up um, to open as a preview view. So then same thing as I did before, I'm going to right click, I'm going to add a new layer. That new layer is now going to become my webcam. Hello, did you miss me again? And now I'm going to go into chroma key and I'm going to um, turn my virtual background on and select, select, select. And now it's, it's literally just the same thing. I can go up a little bit higher when it is in this view. Uh, so I like that a little bit better. Um, I can drag it up if I want to, the background, I can move up a little bit, but I'm gonna keep it right here because this allows me to fit in the screen a little bit better. And again, just resizing myself so I sit on top of the bags. And then from there, it is literally just reaching in and um, grabbing whatever it is you wanna give your student. So I have something in my hand, I hold it down here. Da -da 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 what is it? And it is my awesome Wonder Woman red lipstick. That's it. Have fun with it. Go forward and do whatever you like. I mean, I use my picture in picture all the time and throw myself in the slides. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful um, Halloween. And uh, I am going to uh, once again show you in another slide, if I haven't already, how to do the animated Halloween backgrounds. That'll be another video coming up. Take care and thanks for watching. Stay healthy.